So a parent from Barbados just sent me this. A parent from Barbados just sent me this. CXC put out a fact. FAQ, <clears throat> frequently asked questions um, on the Facebook. So I just wanted to take the time and take a little retreat. Uh, I see some keywords, some trigger words here. So let's take a retreat and see what's going on. But first, let me make sure that, that I'm live. Why is in the chat if, if you're all there? Those of you all who tune in after the fact, don't forget to press nice, we good. Don't forget to press like on the video, you know the thing, and all the thing is good. So this is the free uh, a post CXC just released. So let's take a little look at this post. Um yeah, here are some timely reminders and a key date to keep in mind. A key date to keep in mind. There's a key date here to keep in mind. Okay. Tuesday. Tuesday thoughts. <laughs> so the hashtag is the hashtag for me. Yeah, I'm CXE, CXE hashtag it Tuesday thoughts. <laughs> you know, like it. Here's some things you Tuesday thoughts. Hashtag. The hashtag is kicks. This is the first one. Exam hashtag FAQ frequently asked question. Too angry face, day boy. Um, I received ungraded for my CXE examination. What does this mean? Ungraded indicates that the SBA multiple choice paper or supporting documents were not submitted on behalf of the candidate. A paper didn't go up. So something got lost along the way. In these cases, you should contact the school or the local registrar's office to submit a query. Candidates are not required to pay for this service. Kindly note that the deadline for submitted ungraded queries is Friday, the 23rd of October. Mm -hmm. So you have until the 23rd of October to submit a query if you saw an ungraded. This answered a frequently asked question. This is a very frequently asked question. So if you saw ungraded on something, you have until the 23rd of October to submit a free query. Cool. All right. Next one. Pink. Pink fact. Based on the SBA score submitted by my school, my grade should be higher. Why is this not the case? That's the question. Q for question, A for answer. It is important to note that the SBA score submitted to CXE by a school is not the final grade. CXE moderates the SBA to ensure that the assessment is of the work. The assessment of the work is aligned to the standard of assessment def defined by CXE. This year, all centers and all subjects were moderated. I like the choice of words there. They didn't say all SBAs were moderated. They said all subjects were moderated. But as a teacher, we sent up all our SBAs. Let me just take a little peek at the comments. Why doesn't CXE mark the IA SBA themselves then? I have yet to be paid for two years. I have marked IAs. And I had to postpone visiting the family because it was said a moderator be coming in. And to that date, the moderator has not shown. Whoever is this? Come to the front of the class, all alike. I will have you know that in some countries, CXE pays to have, I've been told, I think Barbados is one, pays the teacher to mark, but not in all. So like, we correcting exams for CXE for free. If that is the case, why don't CXE correct the SB themselves? People asking the important questions out here. Top fan. In my opinion, hey, Trevor is a top fan. In my opinion, the SBA should be scrapped and all students should sit the paper tree exam. A lot of jiggery poker, <laughs> jiggery poker takes place in SBA administration. And I think that your body has realized that this year. Take a next like there, bro. You could take a like to Sharon. Everybody could get a like because everybody talking sense. So, um, Anyhow, let me focus on the answer. What they are saying is that the SBA score that your teacher sent up, who knows? CXE can remark it. Um, I received an absent for my CXE. 
This is so true what they say. If they're taking the mark that your teacher send up and remarking it, why in the world they didn't just mark it at the first in the first place? Why didn't just mark it in the first place and tell you your mark too? Yeah, because they're important. That no telling you your mark thing that CXEs do. That's so I received an absent for my CXE examination. Although I sat my exam in person, why is that? So this is the next frequently asked question. Answer, <clears throat> if you attended your examination but still received absent, you may submit a query and present your examination receipt to your school or ministry. Candidates are not required to pay for this service. So if you have absent, if you have ungraded, what they are saying here in this release from CXE official Facebook page is that you can submit a query before Friday the 22nd, which is what, next week? Which is next week, you can submit a query. And I wonder why they are releasing these frequently asked questions and tomorrow there's supposed to be an answer to the review of this whole examination process, AKA the modified approach the 2020. Hmm. Hmm. Anyhow, so you can, those queries are supposed to be free, right? So if anybody asks you for money, if you pay money for absent or ungraded query, it's supposed to be free. This is the end. This is the last frequently asked question. What, was there any comments on this one? No comments. What is a script review and how do I request one? Answer, if you have questions about the grade you received, I'm going to bring it up in big, in big, in a big, in a treaty. If you have questions about the grade you received and would like to have your script reviewed, you may submit a request for a script review via your school or ministry. Well, I lost track. If you have questions about the grade you received and you would like to have your script reviewed, you may submit a request for a script review. Why is some of this fuzzy and some sharp? What's going on with this photo? Via your school or Ministry of Education, the cost for script review is 30 USD. So this is a different kind of review. They're not calling, they're not even calling it a query. They're calling this one a review. If your script review results in an increase in your overall grade, you will be refunded the script review fee. Candidates should note that the deadline for this is the Friday, the twenty third again. How will the student know if the grade has changed? Uh, they supposed to send you back. My son sees that grade increased from a grade three to a grade two after the review in last year exam, but I didn't get a refund. So last year people and the years before would be coming in hot now because they. I wish I knew the number. I did a poll on Instagram and I get hundreds, but I wish I knew the number of students who submitted. Um, reviews and well they call it reviews now and receive an up an increased grade the number could be pretty high so if there's a high number of students like maybe let's say 60 percent of the students who submit reviews get an increased grade what does that say about the integrity of the examination process anyhow it will be reflected in their final certificate good question so just for those who want to see back the frequently asked questions, this is on the Caribbean examinations page. Um, if you receive an ungraded, review free. If your SBA score looking sweet, but your exam mark not looking sweet, it could have been that they moderated your ex SBA score down for some reason or the other. Uh, if you receive an absent, you have a free query uh, before the 22. And a script review is not free, it's $30, but if it comes back with a higher mark, you get back, you get back some change. All right, so that's where we are at with our esteemed Caribbean Examination Council. Thursday Thoughts, these are just some Thursday Thoughts brought to you by CXC. We await tomorrow when we should receive the results of the review process. I wonder what the comments say. Sad what happened this year due to miscommunication and school's inability to submit SBN time. But good luck to everyone calling on the return of Cambridge. 
you are jumping from pot into fire with that new SBA system, it will be survival of the fittest all over again because it's more questionable than CXC and expensive. Not too sure I agree with you there, Mr. Kimo. Um, this is ridiculous. Hundreds of thousands of students in Caribbean have issues regarding their CXC grading and will be requesting a script review. But CXC put a deadline for less than 10 days away. Post something that will give us more info. This is useless. With our students, there is no such thing as CXC. Get it right. We need our right grades. Who is going to pay to the USD in this COVID-19 pandemic? It's like we pay to rewrite these subjects again. So we have some, we have some eating. CXC is a Ponzi scheme, says someone I know. Ah. Uh, all right, so I just bring it to you the news, especially since tomorrow we'll be looking out for the review. As soon as that pops, I would try to come on live and we can see what if we can get some sense out of it. Uh, everyone knows that this examination process was a bit more words carefully here. It was a 2020? It was a 2020 examination process um multiple choice only no paper two and sba marks which were, could have been moderated and everybody know the whole problem revolving around that so we wait to see we await to see what is going to be the final judgment uh, until then hold it down